devstack uses screen to uh, start all openstack um, services so i have a devstack setup here inside that you can see a script named stack.sh this script will install and configure all um, openstack services then this script and un unstack.sh we can use this script to stop all running services then rejoin stack.sh we can use this script to start all services again okay let me do rejoin stack.sh so this is the screen session in the bottom side you can see the screen tabs so right now i am in Key, keystone tab you can see the star symbol here so you can list all tabs using using the comma using the key key control a then double quotes these are the tabs so you can navigate you can go to some particular tab okay or you can use the comma use, use the key control a n to go go to the next tab control a p to go to the previous tab see here so if you want to close this screen you can you can use control a d okay so if you want to stop this keystone this keystone service you can use uh, control C so now the keystone service stop if you want to start it again press up arrow now you can see the command then press enter now it started okay this way you can uh, stop and start all these services okay uh, let me um, wait one second so I am going to run one CLI command and I will show you how to debug that for example So in this devstack folder you can see one file named openrc I am going to source that file so that file contains the credentials uh, keystone credentials so I am going to source that one then I am going to run the keystone CLI command keystone tenant list this command will um, this command list all the projects see so I am going to debug dip the flow of this particular um, command by default dev stack is uh, devstack installs all project under under this opt st stack folder so if we go if we go to that folder you can see the all the projects keystone glance nova everything let me go to the keystone project there let me go to the one more folder keystone then same it so I am going to put a breakpoint for this uh, list project uh, tenant list command so let me open this 
routes.py so there you can see the URL so this particular URL will point to this function so tenants will point get all products so let me find where is this get all product So it is in controller. So I am going to add a breakpoint here. So I am here I am using the PDB Python debugger. Import PDB PDB dot set trace. Okay, let me save this. So when I run this command again, the control will will uh, break. The flow will break at this point. From there, I can control the flow. I can track the flow actually using the PDB. So let me run it. So that break breakpoint didn't work. So let me restart the. I have to let me go to the screen. Actually, I have to, after after my change, I have to restart the uh, Keystone service. So let me stop the service. So I right now I am in Keystone. Here you can see Control C. I stop it. Then start it again. So there is an error. Unexpected indent. So in this file, actually there is some error. Nine one. something here let me remove this then let me put that let me add that PDP statement again import PDB PDB dot set trace okay save this then restart start it again okay so now when you start this when you start this command when you execute this command you can see that the flow you can see the pdb console here actually in the in in this tab keystone tab let me execute this command okay actually it's stopped at that point so you can see the PDB console here in this keystone tab so, so if you want to check where where we are at this point you can type L and this is actually this L is a PDB command so you can see this is the breakpoint so right now we are here so if, I, if you want to move you can press n so then we will go to the next statement this statement means now we are in this statement if you want to find if you want to check press l and enter so right now we are here if you want to print the value of some particular variable for example 
I want to check the value of what which are hmm. for example this kw you can type kw here nothing there then for example you can print the context but that will be huge actually okay anyway continue and press n nest l right now i am in this line press nest 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 so right now i am here in this for loop press n inside the for loop So right now outside the for loop press L again uh, nest L nest L next uh, L so right now the pointer here so if you want to check the what is the value of param you can do that just tab copy and paste it here you can see the value of that variable if you want to go to go uh, step into this particular method you can press s then control will go into that method see help so check right now i am inside i am here in that method you can now you can navigate and now you can go through the each statement inside this method press n next plus l so i am here then n so i am right now here so this way you can check each statement and you can check the values marker thing there what is tenant rough if you want to check you can check that if you want to you can see here you want to check the type of self so it's a controller assignment controllers okay actually you have to go you have to learn the pdb commands there are a lot of options are available in pdb if you want to see the help just type help here you will get the pdb help We can put the breakpoint also. Mm, like mm, actually, that is explained here. You, you can set the breakpoint. You can use the command B. Then the file where you want to put the breakpoint. Then the line number where you want to in this particular file and in particular line you can put the breakpoint. Then control will stop there. Similarly, you can put a breakpoint for a method then control will stop at the first statement of that method okay so this way you can debug all these services So now the, let me check the status. Of, now it's still it's waiting because because of this PDB. Let me type C and enter. The, then the command will con continue. Then the control will go go down and finish the execution. Now now you can see the output. similarly uh, you can also use the PUDB there is one more tool available like uh, PDB it's called PUDB 
you have to install it like ec install pudb then instead of import uh, pdb dot set trace you have to put this statement import pudb then pu dot db actually this is a uh, gui based debugging debugging tool you can try that also Okay. 